Hey, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Ranjan, and today I am starting a new playlist which is deep learning. So, I am starting this playlist so that you can differentiate what is machine learning and what is deep learning. I have already explained you that what is deep learning in my first video. If you have seen my machine learning playlist, I have covered this deep learning in my first video. So, just to give you an overview again, so we have a whole playground which is artificial intelligence, and in that artificial intelligence, there is if machine learning, and under machine learning, we have a deep learning. Learning. So, deep learning, machine learning both basically achieves the artificial intelligence. So, the data science problem we solve with machine learning can also be solved with the deep learning. And one most important thing, some of us think that deep learning and machine learning are two different branches. But no, it's a myth. It's not nothing like that. Machine learning is a whole branch and under that branch, there is shallow learning and other is deep learning. And in that shallow learning, we have a supervised learning, unsupervised learning. So, I hope you guys have already covered these algorithms. Nave bias, logistic regression, linear regression, support vector, random forest, uh, KNN. So, all these are covered under shallow learning. And this is unsupervised clustering and association. Association is basically a market basket analysis. And here it is deep learning. The, in deep learning, we have also supervised and unsupervised. So, in supervised, we have ANN, CNN, and RNN. I will be covering those three techniques in this video. And we have unsupervised learning. Basically, it is auto encoders, transformer, deep belief network, BERT, all the things. So, now what is deep learning so concept of deep learning was to mimic the behavior of the human neural network so whenever we will talk about deep learning so we have to understand it as a neural network because deep learning is equal to neural network if you will search there are many definitions of the deep learning in, in google so i will just give you a small definition and a very layman definition deep learning is using a concept of mimicking the behavior of the human neural network and it teaches a machine to filter inputs through layers to learn how to predict or classify information and in deep learning we will pass inputs in the form of images text or sound or video so as i already told you the inspiration for deep learning comes from the way that human brain filter information and in deep learning we generally provides the last data set when we have a large data set machine learning cannot increase the performance we cannot get the good performance from the using machine learning shallow machine learning techniques which already we were using like linear regression logistic regression and in deep learning we have a multiple features when we have a number of columns but can go up to 100 200 and beyond that and in deep learning there is extensive learning due to that we have a improved accuracy we got a good performance in deep learning it is highly resource extensive it eats lot of resources takes so many iterations to get computed and it has a layer architecture i will show you why we will call it as a layer architecture and eats lot of data to learn the pattern and complexity is always high and the main important thing that we don't need to perform any feature engineering or feature selection it's a very good thing and i have shown you in the graph why we are doing deep learning because if you will see when the amount of data is getting increased we are seeing our older learning algorithms which were the shallow machine learning like linear regression logistic regression knn random forest it has a same performance it has a constant performance even the amount of data is increasing but in the deep learning, the performance is also getting rise with the increase in amount of data. So that's a good thing. That's why we use deep learning. And why deep learning? Because the amount of data is getting increased day by day. And earlier, we don't have the highly computational resource. But as of now, we have GPU. We have thousand cores of GPU. We are using that thing because earlier, we don't have the GPU. We have only the CPU. And the CPU have the less number of cores as compared to GPU. And today, we have many algorithms. Researchers are developing newer algorithms algorithms each and every day and one more important thing in deep learning we don't need to do data pre-processing and one last thing i will say we don't consider deep learning for every small problem if it's a small problem we try machine learning first basic algorithms if we are getting a good result from the machine learning we don't go to deep learning because we have to use lot of resources and in case of resources we have to depend on the cloud so it would be money intensive so it would involve money as well so generally we don't consider machine learning if we are getting a high amount of data and multiple features higher dimensions and complexity is getting increased then only we use deep learning and in deep learning there is no requirement of domain knowledge as well. As I have already explained you that concept of the deep learning was to mimic the behavior of the human nervous system. As it is not a bio class, but still I will give you a brief overview how human nervous system works. So this is a human and we have the neurons. So neuron looks like this when we will see in the microscope. And human body has 86 billions at its 
this number go beyond that it's approx 100 billion so we have so many neurons in our body and what neurons do it generally transmit the information if this finger is touching hot or cold thing so the message will transmit to the brain and it will be transmitted with the help of these neurons these are sensory neurons if you will see there's a signal direction so su suppose here is a finger and when this neuron will touch a hot object so message will be transferred to this so it looks like this this is a one neuron and it's a second neuron and this is connected to each and every neuron so all neurons are connected to each other here one neuron would be connected here one neuron would be connected here would be connected so message would be transmitted to brain so we will use this concept only we will use number of neurons in our neural network Work. So just to get the basic understanding how deep learning and how neural network works, I will give you clarity. So hope we all have played Sudoku in our childhood days. So I have taken an example from there. So it exactly looks like the deep learning. So we have to bring the output as 100 and we have three inputs. These are the input 10, 30, 20 and this is the plus sign. This is basically a sum. It is just a submission. How it will go? So suppose we are just adding 10 plus 30 plus 20. So sum would be 60. Sum would be 60. So what error we have? We have error is 40. So what we will do, we will go back. So they are giving a just option. We can multiply any number. So suppose if we are using a 1 to everyone. So sum would be 60. Suppose if we use 2. So sum would be 120. So what we are seeing that now we have a error 20. Earlier it was minus 40. So what we will do, we will use 10 into 5 and we will multiply each every input by 1. So what we will get, now we will get 100. And this is not the only way. We can do many things. We can multiply this 20 by 3 and this by 1 and this by 1. In this case, we will be 100. So now what we are seeing, the output is dependent all 3 inputs. And this is weight. This is just a weight. I am talking about the neural network perspective. In the neural network, you will see this is activation function. I will tell you what is activation function. This is just a submission. So this is activation function. And these are the inputs that we are passing to our model. And these are the weights which were getting multiplied. Suppose we are uh, initializing the random weights and equal weights to everyone. So we have initialized weight and equal weights to everyone. So now some would be 60. And we have another concept which is called bias. And bias generally applied on the activation function. So what we will apply here we will apply bias equal to plus 40. So you will see the weights are getting multiplied to the inputs and the bias is getting added to its activation function. So now when, when we will add to it, it will be 100. So it's just a basic puzzle. The same concept we will be using in the neural network. This is a one neuron which we called as a perceptron as well. So this is a one neuron and one perceptron which I have uh, explained in the previous slide as a mass puzzle. So you will see here, these are the input x1, x2 and xn. It can go up to xn and these are the weight w1 w2 and wn so you will see that each weight is applying to each input so if we have a x1 and up to xn input so we would be having w1 to wn now we are seeing a bias which is w0 and it will be applied to direct to the submission function so what it will do it will just multiply each and every one x1 into w1 so answer would be x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus xn wn it will just add each and every input by getting the multiplication of the weight at the end it will add w naught and this is activation function i will cover activation function in my next video so now it will generate some output and this output will be compared with desired output in our case it was 100 earlier we have uh, received output of 50 so it will calculate the error so now error would be 50 so now it will do modifications of the weight as i have done that earlier i have taken the one weight to everyone then in the next stage i have taken the weight as one so now there is a one important thing when i was calculating the output in the forward direction it was it is known as feed forward and when i was going back in the reverse direction it is known as feedback network and this technique going back and modifying the weights is known as back propagation. So we have two important thing in the neural network. First is feed forward network and second is back propagation. And we have learned what is deep learning, what is neuron, how single neuron works, how single perceptron works. So that's all in this particular video and I hope you have learned something new today. If you have learned something new today, just like this video and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed. Do share this video with your friends and colleagues. See you all in the next video. Till then, goodbye. I enjoy happy learning.